All right, welcome back to another Master and Apprentice video. Um, today we've got more pictures for summer, early summer slash spring sets for Lego Star Wars. A lot of these are sets I wouldn't normally touch on, but I was just going to do a bunch of these in an updated version. And so this is over the last kind of like two weeks of, you know, sets and pictures we have released. So with that, we'll get right into it. First one we're going to touch on, which is most recent reveal, is the 4 Plus set coming out June 1st for 124 pieces and $40. Uh, it is going to be titled Tenu, I think that's how you pronounce it, Tenu Jedi Temple, set 75358. With three minifigures, we got Master Yoda, Lai Solare, and Kai Brightstar, and then like a training dummy that you can kind of count as a uh, as a minifigure. As you'll see in the picture, it it's a uh, kind of a goofy Yoda. <laughs> I don't really know how else to put it, but it's not a bad Yoda. It's it's unique. It's a new mold. The two Jedi's are pretty good. I like the uh, the new, not new, but different leg pieces to kind of show that they're still kids. Um, the build itself is just pretty basic. You can see in the back, there's all the things separated. We do get a speeder as well, um, but nothing crazy unique. I think the minifigures, the lightsabers are probably the going to be the highlight for this. That $40 price tag is pretty steep, especially for a four plus set. I don't know what you guys think about this, but um then we go to our first diorama set. We had revealed the uh, Endor Speeder Chase diorama, um, May first, six hundred eight pieces for eighty dollars. And this one's pretty. That pipe, that the piece count is pretty bloated. I mean, there's so many tiny studs, especially on all diorama sets. You can see here in the picture, just from the bottom, like there's all these plant pieces, these new fern pieces too. That those are all count as one piece, but they're so tiny, and you know that that's i think this is kind of blown out of proportion for 80 dollars. another very overpriced set you can see from minifigures um we have luke skywalker i'm assuming it's luke skywalker it's a little lightsaber i believe it's leia but we don't have anything confirming that's leia and then a scout trooper with just one speeder bike um oh no there's two i'm sorry um you can tell in the picture it's got the uh 40th anniversary of return of the jedi logo in the front i cannot read out what that quote says it's just too blurry in the picture even for me diorama set we get is the death star uh duel the death star 2 throne room du duel same thing we got the uh 40th anniversary of the return of the jedi and then it's quote says i am your jedi like my father before me we only get three minifigures palpatine luke and uh vader Vader kind of looks like his suit is damaged. It's really hard to tell. He's zooming up only ruins the resolution, so I, that's not going to do very much. But if you look closely at some of these pictures, it looks damaged. And then it looks like we also get a new hair piece for Luke. I'm going to confidently say we get a new hair piece, which I'm excited for that. We've kind of had the same one for a while now for Luke. Um, so a new hair piece is just nice to have, a new mold. Uh, this one, May 1st as well, 807 pieces, $100. So another... Kind of a bloated piece count again because of the tiny pieces. Not as bad as the last one, in my opinion, especially with that back, uh, the see through window and the arc where Palpatine sits. Those are all bigger pieces. So this one isn't as bad. This one, I feel like this is a little bit more fairly priced. For $100, though, I would like some of those Imperial throne room guards. I think that would have, at least one would have fit very well in this scene, but it doesn't look like we're getting that, at least from the pictures that are revealed. Um, then the next lego set review we have may 1st 39.99 40 549 pieces so this one's a lot more evenly priced this one 40 dollars is always steep but what we're getting out of it is not bad the battle of endor heroes brickhead set we have luke skywalker return of the jedi archer d2 lando calrissian and ewok i think it's wicket and endor princess leia um you know the pictures are all you really need to see there's only two of them set Four zero six two three. I think all of these are done pretty well. I like the R two D two. I don't know if this is our first R two D two we've gotten for a brick head, but it looks good. Um, a lot of Return of the Jedi theming, if you haven't noticed already, but not a bad thing. Not 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 a bad thing at all. And then 
This is a little bit late to the party, but a Mandalorian set releasing August 1st, 49.99, 525 pieces. The Spider Tank with uh, Bo-Katan, Mandalorian, and Grogu. I don't believe we're getting the little pirate dude just from the pictures. doesn't seem to be revealed. Um, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, I, what we do get, I absolutely love. The, the set itself, the crab, looks pretty awesome. Doesn't look like we're getting a little cage that Mandalorian gets, you know, captured in. But it looks like we are getting new printing for Bo Katan, as you can see in this very blurry picture. Uh, a new hair piece as well. A new mold for Din Djarin's uh, dark saber. The hilt's still pretty cheap, but the actual saber itself isn't bad. It's better than what we've gotten for sure. It's not not the best. We could definitely still improve, but it is an improvement for sure. And then the hair piece for Bokutan is it just looks cleaner. It it's a lot thicker, um, which kind of fits her because the other hair piece we've gotten is thinner and just doesn't look as clean. But there you go. There's some of the upcoming sets, pictures, reviews. Um, All right, guys. Just real quick, as I was editing, <clears throat> more leaks and rumors came out. On top of a bunch of stuff coming out April 1st um, that we don't really have any pictures of, but I'll kind of mention real quick because I think these are big if these are real. The UCS Venator set 75367 set to be $650, $650 coming out October 1st. Then we have a gunship set 75354, $150 coming out September 1st. The Ghost set 75657 coming out September 1st for 170 supposedly. And then a Swamp Speeder that's supposed to be coming out August 1st, $35. Um, nothing too much in those, but we did get more pictures on a set that is coming out May 1st. The Mandalorian Fang Fighter versus TIE Interceptor set. Um, we finally got some leaks of it coming out. Like I said, May 1st, and it's going to be $100 for 957 pieces. Uh, the box looks great. We get the little Mando in the bottom left. We get four minifigures in this, as you can see. Um, the Interceptor looks a little bit weird. I like the design of it, but it, how in like the wings are a little kind of weird, far in between you know the wing and then the pod. It's a little weird. The, the Fang Fighter is, uh, you know, kind of as best we could get for what we have. Because half of the $100 set goes to the Fang Fighter. And then the minifigures, we get uh, the Mandalorian with his new helmet print. And then the new uh, Death, not Death, Dark Saber uh, mold. Then we get a Mandalorian Fleet Commander. A TIE Fighter for the Interceptor, obviously. And then R2E6, which... I don't think that's any droid in particular, but there you go. So just want to update you guys real quick because that happened literally in the middle of this the middle of this edit. So yeah, but the Mandalorian spider, I'm actually pretty excited for that. Um, obviously, that little spider cyborg guy would be cool, but in itself, the the build and the two minifigures that we or three, I guess, count Grogu are very good, but everything else. Dioramas, the four plus, seem very overpriced to me. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments. Um, I'm very interested to see how the community takes this in. But yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget that subscribe, like, and comment, and we'll see you in the next one.